to a good debater, uh, you could prescribe an antibiotic for a viral infection to suggest that you want to prevent a secondary bacterial infection. To a child who has no infection, you call it a prophylactic antibiotic. So you could prescribe antibiotic to each and every one and seem to justify it. Let's see where we are now in this situation. Uh, the present scenario in clinical practice is ideal antibiotic therapy so rare. Simply because uh, we have a problem of confirmed bacterial infection and uh, we, we really need to use prophylactic antibiotics only in very selective situations. Uh, it cannot be a prophylaxis against every possible infection and I think a prophylactic antibiotic is a very very strict uh, consideration uh, and not the general universal prophylaxis at all. And therefore I think we, most of the pediatricians would use empirical antibiotic therapy uh, which is based on personal observation and practical experience. We know what it means really, that it's all experimental, it's all speculative, it's conjectural, it's hypothetical, it's assumed that you are treating a kind of an infection with a right antibiotic. And I think therefore uh, we, we really need to get on to a very judicious use of antibiotics uh, with justification. Uh, what are the prerequisites of starting an empirical antibiotic therapy? I think in our situation, a rational antibiotic therapy needs to be addressed to really an empirical rational antibiotic therapy for simple reason that majority of the times a clinician in his office practice is devoid of confirming a bacterial infection and maybe a drug sensitivity and choosing a right kind of an antibiotic each time. And therefore, uh, we need to be very, very clear 